A new study led by China's top virologist presents evidence that the world could be on the brink of another pandemic. Victoria Bella covers science for the Post's China desk, and she joins me now. So this is a strain of avian influenza. Why are scientists concerned about it now? So there are many different strains of avian influenza A, um, and most of them infect birds, but there are several that actually do infect humans. Uh, there's two that currently circulate from human to human. One of them is H1N1, which caused the swine flu pandemic in 2009, and another one is H3N2. Um, so there are many who in that infect birds, but some of them actually have the potential to, other ones have the potential to infect humans as well. And one of them actually is H2N2. Um, so it is of particular concern because it's found in domestic poultry uh, in China and other countries. And uh, so one of the main transmission routes for these viruses is actually through infected farm animals. Um, so this is of a concern at the moment because it could pass on to humans from farm animals. And it is also a concern because it actually has infected humans before. So this is the same strain that was responsible for the Asian flu pandemic uh, that broke out in 1957 in southern China and killed more than a million people worldwide. Uh, but it was thought to have disappeared from the human population by the end of the 1960s. So what evidence is there that it might be coming back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the one that caused the uh, Asian flu um, was actually a different virus, but under the same H2N2 subtype. Um, and it does have some similar similarities actually to this recent one that they've been studying. One of the main things is that when it first emerged, um, it had a preference to bind to both bird and human receptors, but uh, over time, by the time it disappeared, uh, it became a seasonal flu for a while before it disappeared, but when it disappeared, it actually had a preference for human receptors, which showed that the virus actually evolved over time. Uh, and now with this recent Chinese Academy of Sciences study, they found that this recent virus also currently binds to both bird and human receptors, but has a preference for bird ones, but they found that just single mutations in its gene could cause it to uh, develop a preference for human receptors. So that could make it much easier for it to infect humans. And these changes could actually happen within another animal like a pig, because pigs have the ability to carry both bird and human viruses. And if these changes happened, it could make it much easier for it to infect humans in the future. So how serious is the risk that this could become another pandemic like COVID? So the researchers said they're not too concerned about this H2N2 strain at the moment, just because it currently is pretty low on the pathogenicity scale, and it also doesn't transmit very well between mammals. But if it acquired these mutations, it could become more of a danger. But I would say that overall, scientists actually right now are very concerned about another strain of uh, avian influenza, which is H5N1. Um, it's also known as the bird flu by a lot of people. That currently is actually causing quite a few human infections, mostly in the United States, as they're having a very massive outbreak uh, of this uh, virus within farm animals. And so currently it's become a very large concern because they're having quite a big problem with it. And uh, over the last century, all the cases, all the confirmed cases of H5N1 in humans, about 50% of them have ended in death. So it's very serious. And I would say that that one, although it currently does not spread human to human directly, it only spreads from infected farm animal to human. If it developed the ability to spread human to human, it could become a very serious uh, potential to become a pandemic. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can read Victoria's full report on our website, scmp.com.